Alright, so what is going on guys? Aaron here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play DS games on your 3DS without the need of any sort of flash card or something. So basically what we're going to be doing is emulating the DS games on a 3DS and it's just going to be super easy. You don't even have to buy anything. If you want to turn your games into files so which you can emulate them, I'll leave a video link of mine in the description below showing you how to do that. And we're going to be using all of this with help of custom firmware. So if you don't have custom firmware, again, I'll leave another link in the description showing a video of how to install custom firmware. Um, pretty much all you need and you'll also need an SD card adapter if you need one. And you, of course, need a computer and internet. And that's just going to be pretty much it. We're just going to be downloading some files, putting them onto our SD card. If you haven't already, you want to make sure you have your um, 3DS turned off. So... This will work for any 3DS, doesn't really matter which kind of 3DS or 2DS you have. And then once you powered it off, you want to take out your SD card and put it inside of your computer. Alright, so now that you've um, put your 3DS's SD card inside of your computer, you want to go to the first link in the description below. And it should take you to the Twilight menu, which is the emulator we're going to be using to actually run these NDS games. So you want to go to the latest release, which is usually the more stable release. And you want to go down and go to Twilight menu.7zip. Make sure it doesn't say flash card DSi or 3DS, just the Twilight menu.7zip. You want to go over to the second link in the description below, and it should take you to the Twilight menu updater. And you want to go and just download the CIA. As you can see, we have both of these files loaded up. So we can go over to our downloads. And over here we have Twilight menu and Twilight menu updater.cia. So you just want to take the CIA and put it into your CIA's folder. And after that, you want to go over to the 7-zip archive and just uh, open it up. And over here, we, we have our Twilight menu folder. So once you open that up, you want to take the NDS and ROMs folders inside of the root of your 3ds's sd card so get the nds file underscore nds and put it into the root of the 3ds so don't put it into any sort of folder you want to put it on the very beginning of the card and after that you just want to take the roms folder and put it onto the 3ds's root as well all right so here we are we it's done uh transferring over and after that you want to go to this one over here DSi and 3DS SD card users just open that folder up and you want to copy both of these files to the root of the SD card and then after that you want to go to the 3DS custom firmware folder so just go back and go here you want to take the twilight menu.cia and gamebooter.cia and put them into the CIA's folder of yours. So over here. And after that, you're basically finished. So after that, you can just take your 3DS's SD card out and put it back inside of your 3DS. SD card and inside of your 3DS and you have it powered on, you wanna go over to FBI. You wanna go to SD, CIA's, and just go to current directory and install and delete all CIA's. Once you're done downloading them, you just want to press OK and then just press B, B and press start to exit the app. And after that, you can just uh, launch it up. And you just want to press A to scan. You want to go over here and go to release and then loading release notes. And press update. Done with that, you want to go over to NDS Bootstrap and press release. And then you just also want to wait for that to be done downloading as well. Just press update. And then just wait for that. And after that, you just want to go to updater. And do the same thing. Wait for the things to update. And after that, you want to go to downloads and go to cheats. And then let that download. Finally, you want to go over to extras. You want to go down to box art. And then you want to press X. And you can just press B to go back and you can just exit. Once you have exited out, um, you should be over here now. And then it should pop up again. So I'm just going to press OK. And there we go. Twilight menu should appear. 
what we're gonna do now is actually turn off our 3ds and go back to our sd card with the computer screen record this part but it's pretty easy all you need to do is put your games inside of the roms folder and inside of the nds folder if you followed my other tutorial where i'm showing you how to convert your cartridges into nds files you would usually go to gm9 out and take these nds files put them into the roms folder When it's the first time you launch it up, it's gonna be uh, quite a while for this white screen. Should be the DS logo, you just wanna press the screen. And then you can just press start to skip this. And then it should take you to this menu, you just wanna press back. And then it should take you to over here and then you can go to your um, NDS games. And then here we go, you can see that I have my uh, Cookie Mama 3 and Lego Star Wars. So I'm gonna launch up Lego Star Wars. So let's just let it do its thing. And there we go, we already have the game being launched up. And that's just gonna be pretty much it, you guys. Make sure to um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later.